Hey everyone, it's Sammy Caps. I just wanted to follow up my no rest for the wicked video from yesterday. And we are less than 24 hours away from the early access release of the game. And I wanted to do this video to give you all the information you're gonna need to walk into the game prepared, knowledgeable, and ready to slay. So without further ado, here's all the information that you should know. The game is releasing early access on April 18th, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Please note, early access of No Rest for the Wicked is PC exclusive on April 18th on Steam. For you console users, unfortunately, we do not have a release date, but don't fret, you are gonna be getting the game, just that Moon Studios has not confirmed. They have confirmed, though, that it will be coming out on the PS5 and Xbox Series XS. We just don't have a date. So stay tuned for more information on that. The game does have controller support, so for you players that like to use a controller, they have support, and also PC users, the there are WASD controls in the the game for you twitch watchers you'll be happy to hear no rest for the wicked is running a twitch drops campaign as this image illustrates you watch a total of one hour of no rest for the wicked on twitch to earn the dance gesture emote two fallen embers a weapon shard and an armor shard campaign starts on march 1st and ends on march 4th the development team themselves moon studios will be hosting a showcase stream on their twitch and youtube channels at 9 a.m pacific time on march 1st and the devs are planning to dive into all things no rest for the wicked they'll explore the game's complex story brutal combat deep mechanic and handcrafted world okay so now that we got all the details out of the way what can you expect from the game and the gameplay perspective i'm gonna go over basically what this game is going to entail and hopefully what i'm about to share with you will equip you with the knowledge that will hopefully make you better prepared if you are planning on playing No Rest for the Wicked. So let's begin with how we start the game. No Rest for the Wicked is a story of politics and plague, and our journey begins in the year 841. King Harold is dead. Rumors begin to emerge about the return of a great plague known as the Pestilence. You are a serum, a member of an ancient Sikh sect devoted to vanquishing the plague. Called to investigate these rumors, you board a merchant ship to the backwater, Isola Sacra. While en route, a rebel group known as the Risen seizes the ship, leaving it wrecked as it collides into the island's rocks. Washed up on the shores of Isola Sacra, you wake up naked and unarmed. As you find your bearings, you end up caught between a vast political struggle and a fight for survival. The world of Isola Sacra is a living, breathing world that has been meticulously handcrafted, traversed through the vibrant, seamless, interactive environment. If something looks climbable, it is. If an object is too thin to walk over, you may just need to balance your way across. Each step, climb, and jump should be intentional. They've abandoned the traditional point and click in favor of a WASD or controller control scheme. Searching every inch may prove fruitful, revealing secret areas and loot. Sakra is ever changing. Returning to previously explored areas to find new threats to tackle and resources to scavenge. Each time you visit a region, a drastically different experience will be waiting. Now, one of the unique mechanics built by Moon Studios is the game invites you to play your way. No Rest for the Wicked uses a soft class system, meaning priority is on weapons rather than than picking a specific class or role. 
leveling up earns stat points that you can put into HP, intelligence, dexterity, strength, and stamina. Stats like intelligence, dexterity, and strength can directly make weapon types more powerful. Moon Studios wants players to be able to create any build imaginable, even ones they haven't thought of. So be adventurous, try something different, and mold your character the way you want to and enjoy. Now, I have a little early game tip. Don't be so aggressive with spending all your stat points. Keep some in reserve. Now, why do I say that? It's because, remember, no rest for the wicked, the gameplay, how your character feels, is driven by the gear and the weapons that you find. So can you imagine traversing this world and having a unique weapon or a piece of gear drop that completely elevates your character, but you've spent all your stat points and you can't use that weapon or piece of gear because you have no points right now. And therefore that gear is sitting in your inventory, taking up space and you're not utilizing the uniqueness of what you just found. So I suggest you always have a couple of stat points in reserve. This way, when you do find an OP weapon, for example, that requires one or two points in in some sort of, in one of the other stats, you can easily assign those stats and utilize that weapon right away. So don't be so aggressive with getting rid of all your stat points. Speaking of unique weapons, No Rest for the Wicked has devastating combat. Their animation-driven combat system means attacks should be planned and deliberate. To overcome opponents, watch for telegraphed behaviors and the opportune moment to strike. Parry incoming blows that put enemies into a temporary weakened state. Movement and timing are also important. Your movement speed determines the dodge action, and don't fret, all have invincibility frames. For their fast and light on their feet, quick step out of the way of incoming attacks. For those who go at a balanced measured speed, dodge roll to evade. For the slow and mighty, while more susceptible to attacks due to a slower dodge animation, can counteract by shoulder bashing enemies. For the slow and mighty, while more susceptible to attacks due to a slower dodge animation, can counteract counteract by shoulder bashing enemies. Weapons are unique, no two are alike. Each weapon has its own stance. It can have affixes and can be optimized by various vendors to suit your need. Imbue them with ruins that add additional effect. In combat, weapons are an extension of your body. Timing, basing, weight, and movement must work in harmony. Remember guys, this is not a hack and slash blowing up the screen, clicking, clicking, like I said in my previous video. This is very precision-oriented, methodical in nature. The term Souls-like gets used over and over when we talk about this game. So you need to be very, very methodical in how you address combat in this game. So be mindful of that. Everything impacts how you how your combat is going to be if you're heavy obviously you're going to be slower so just make sure that you keep that in mind when you're setting up your character because combat is going to be devastating in this game along your journey you'll come across sacrament the capital of isola sacra a war torn place but you can help restore it to its former glory. Make the town your own by purchasing property and decorating it to your heart's content. With a range of purchasable properties and a gridless interior design system, create a unique place to call home. Fish on the shores, chop down trees, mine ore, and more. These resources can be used to craft new gear, meals, home furniture, or even make improvements to sacrament. You are in control of how Sacrament evolves. All right, so that is my quick little wiki 
for you walking in to No Rest for the Wicked on April 18th if you're planning on playing the game on Early Access. I just wanted to make this video to give you some of the knowledge that you're going to need to hopefully make your journey more enjoyable. This is a wicked and brutal world. And it's going to be such a joy to play. We're, I can't wait to see how the game comes across and the adventures that all of us are going to be embarking on. It's going to be also, I'm very interested in seeing all just because of the no class design in the game and everyone can basically create different builds. I'm so interested to see over time all these unique and different builds that players are going to be able to showcase, hopefully. Uh, it's going to be so interesting to see all of these different builds coming to the forefront. That is going to be, that's one of the most exciting things that I can't wait to see. So anyway, remember, April 18th, it's less than 24 hours, and PC Steam only on April 18th. So go on Steam if you're interested and you can purchase a copy. By the way, if you purchase the game before May 2nd, there's a discount on the regular price. It's $40 regular, but if you buy the game, Moon Studios has done an incentive where they're going to give a discount on the game. Hope to see you all there. And before I go, come and watch me live on Twitch on April 18th in the evening. I will be streaming No Rest for the Wicked. Channel name is Sammy Caps, just like my YouTube channel. So come and watch me slay No Rest for the Wicked. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you guys, for those of you that are planning on playing it, I hope you guys slay as well. And one more last thing. One last thing, sorry. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate. It will help grow my channel, so I would really appreciate it. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.